when you fly over Africa at night, it's a dark place. There's no electricity, there's no light. And that's an absurdity because during the day, it's the brightest place that you can possibly think of with so much sunlight. So what we want to do is we want to capture the sunlight, transform it into energy and bring electricity and light at night to rule Africa. And that's the concept of solar kiosk. Worldwide, nearly one billion people live without electricity. Over 600 million of them in Sub-Saharan Africa alone. Most of them are living in rural areas in developing economies, which are often hardly accessible due to the lack of adequate roads and infrastructure, and earn a meager living as smallholder farmers. Most likely they will never get connected to the grid and have roads, as it is simply too expensive to build the infrastructure and thus connect the communities to the rest of the world. This is also why formalized distribution and retail are currently not reaching out to those areas, which means that the community is often left with unreliable supply to essential goods like water and food. They are punished with a poverty penalty, which means that poor people pay more for worse quality products than wealthier consumers. Solar Kiosk's mission and passion is to bring much needed products and services to the communities in the bottom of the pyramid and help eradicate the poverty penalty. There is a general misconception about BOP communities. The fact that these communities are underserved and disconnected from the rest of the world doesn't mean that there's no commercial potential for businesses. To understand this better, let's have a look at the energy market. Consumers in Africa pay for a phone charge between 20 and 50 US cents, and often they have to walk for hours or days to the next place where they can charge their mobile phone. A typical off-grid household in rural Africa spends an average of 140 US dollars per year to purchase kerosene, dry cell batteries or candles for lighting and 400 US dollars per year on charcoal for cooking. The global off-grid lighting market alone is a 25 billion US dollars per year market. If you drive out all the way to visit some of the solar kiosk communities, you will see that people at the BOP are very active consumers and you will find bustling commercial activity. Organizations such as the International Finance Corporation and the World Resource Institute estimate that the global household income of all BOP households is over 5 trillion US dollars per year, which represents a substantial commercial power. The fact that we can help these communities' socio-economical development and offer them renewable energy and affordable, better quality solutions led us to venture out and develop our business in rural areas. But how to establish a business that thrives when you have to close your shop at 6 p.m. because there's no light, no adequate infrastructure and no connectivity for your IT systems? Our top priority was to invent an infrastructure solution, the eHub, that integrates solar technology. Over the past years, we spent a lot of resources in design, research and development, and through a constant improvement process, were able to perfect the technology design. Today, the eHub is a one-of-a-kind lightweight turnkey solution that can be transported easily. It comes as a kit of parts and is assembled in only three days without the use of heavy machinery. This makes it possible to implement the eHub anywhere, regardless of the existence of roads and infrastructure. This way we can bring access to electricity and enable and empower businesses in all remote areas of the world. The eHub runs 24-7 with the electricity its integrated solar system produces and can be connected to the internet. The next thing for us was to build headquarters in each country where we operate. Invest and implement eHubs, connect them to our supply chain and logistics and finally find and train local operators that run our eHubs. This way we've become the biggest rural retailer in East Africa providing access to modern retail, much-needed high-quality products, 
services, electricity, and connectivity at affordable prices to the bottom of the pyramid communities. Children want to buy these notebooks. We have solar products in our kiosks. They're affordable, they're durable, they have warranty, and they're good quality. Food is for women. They come to buy the food and they go home to prepare it for their family. We have advantages like the photocopying, the printer, internet. We have a system whereby we can charge more than 80 phones at the same time. I have a mobile money and me too. These condoms are for people who are 18 years or older. This helps them to protect their health. So all they have to do is just walk to the solar kiosk, charge their phones, get solar products, get their daily sugar, get their daily milk. It's a hub. After having implemented our retail shop in a rural community, we are expanding our business by establishing business centers around our e-hubs, which we call Connected Solar Market Centers. In these CSMCs, we build public and business infrastructures that we provide with the energy and connectivity which we have thanks to the e-hub. Within the market center, other local entrepreneurs, such as tailors and barbers, have the opportunity to establish and conduct their businesses in a modern rural mall. So Solar Kiosk doesn't only provide infrastructure, energy and connectivity, but also access to a marketplace. In the CSMC, customers can, for example, visit the local tailor, enjoy a snack, get a haircut, visit the beauty salon, play pool, meet friends in a green relaxation space, and watch the Manchester United game in the local cinema. We even integrate technology into our e-hub to be able to purify unclean water sources, supplying communities with safe drinking water. Water is life, huh? Water is life. We also offer them our logistics and supply chain capacities, to bring these value-added products from our communities to the world, creating even more value for the local communities. But what is more, through the connectivity we are able to bring much-needed health services, educational tools, insurances and financial inclusion to these communities. This way we are transforming our communities and bringing them from a pre-industrial area to the 21st century, thereby increasing the social and economic development in an environmentally sustainable way fostering and enabling entrepreneurial activities and creating jobs. Since 2012, we have already implemented, opened and are operating hundreds of shops, which makes us the largest solar-powered retail network in East Africa. In 2018, all of the e-hubs that we've established so far have helped save more than 1.4 million kilograms of CO2. We've successfully distributed and sold tens of thousands of solar products and energy-efficient cooking stoves. We've employed thousands of people and created thousands of jobs and are reaching millions of people in rural communities. We've implemented projects with numerous partners in Africa, the Middle East and Asia. In 2017, Solar Kiosk received special recognition from the Alliance for Rural Electrification. For our work, we've won numerous prizes and awards, among others the Bloomberg New Energy Pioneer Award, the Connected World Award, the Empowering People Award by the Siemens Stiftung, and, for our eHub, the Silver Prize from the German Federal Design Award. The eHub is an ideal solution for all types of organizations that work in hard-to-reach locations, such as refugee camps and disaster zones. Banks, MFIs, insurance companies and other organizations can now establish agencies in communities where business could not be established before. Thanks to its modularity and versatility, we are successfully also using eHubs as clinics, for example in refugee camps in Bangladesh and Jordan as well as schools, vocational training centers, food and beverage stands, and water purification and sales hubs. My name is Cecilia Lamey. I come from the Maasai community. 
I am called Loiseti Janet. I am 26 years old. I was born here at Trubona village. I work here at Solar Kiosk. My name is Maja Mokumun. I am 30, 34 years old. I have one child and I am not married. A boy, 8 years old. By 6.30 at least, customers start to stream in. I start selling and go until the afternoon. I am happy because I have found ways to help other people. The first I work at Sapphire Hotel in Nazimoja, but now I work at Solakiosky for one year. I send my kids to, to school, I have to support my family. Before I have been with Solar Kiosk, I was working selling Tigo cards, but I did not earn a good salary. When I get a job with Solar Kiosk, I start a new life. I have money to solve my problems. I have money to solve my problems and I can help my parents. When I was employed by Solar Kiosk, I was taught record keeping such as stock taking. Before being employed by Solar Kiosk, I never had enough money. I used to depend on the salary of my husband, but since getting a job, I don't ask him for much. I have no problem because I have Solar Kiosk. I thank for my kiosk because my life now is changing. I like my work and I love so much my work. Mm -hmm.